Patients can fracture their cervical spines in all kinds of ways. There's some debate about whether or not C-spine collars are always helpful, but for unstable fractures, reducing neck movement in your patient until they can reach a spine or neurosurgeon is a good idea. This can be particularly difficult in demented or agitated patients who can't or won't stay still and who inevitably freak out and start whipping their head around whenever you try and put a collar on. Or if a patient has a strange body habitus, fitting a traditional collar on may be impossible, creating a dangerous situation. So here's how you immobilize a C-spine using plain old orthopedic fiberglass splinting material. First, you take maybe a four or five inch width uh, band, uh, make it extra long, moisten it like you usually would, and then wrap it around the patient's neck after threading it under their head. Any extra material you should kind of roll up into a central roll that supports the patient's chin and add a little bit of curvature to it uh, to the sides of the neck. This makes it much stronger. Next, you're going to sort of make a giant U that goes from one shoulder over the top of the patient's head and down to the other shoulder. I would use maybe three inch uh, splinting material for this. Uh, moisten it again and apply it as you see here. Next, you want to wrap up the whole apparatus with an ACE wrap while it hardens up, making sure that the patient can still breathe and talk. I do not have an assistant here, so of course, normally you would have another person helping to control the patient's head while you uh, tidy things up. Once you're finished, you'll have a rigid circular collar that prevents anterior and posterior movement of the head and C-spine. And you'll also have the U-shape, which will prevent lateral flexion of the C-spine in either direction. Is this perfect? No. Is it probably better than letting an agitated person grind their own spinal cord into dog food? Yes. But always remember how people may react to seeing something a little bit unconventional like this. I am a very important administrator. How dare you do something that is not already written down in our guidelines? Protect yourself by writing a brief note in the chart that explains your actions. Something like this. Patient furiously and frantically resisting collar, whipping head back and forth. Attempts at verbal de-escalation and mild sedation unsuccessful. In my opinion, the benefit of unconventional C-spine immobilization greatly outweighs any risks. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person.